So hi everyone, we are here at the SIC International Education Fair and today we have with us a special guest. My name is Rolf, I work for the Engineering Institute of Technology based in both Perth and in Melbourne, Australia. Okay. Hi Rolf, so let's start from the basic question. Why should a student go for EIT? Okay, it's the only private provider in Australia that's offering a student engineering courses in the technical area, okay. in the higher education space. So we're looking at bachelors, masters and doctoral. Um, it's civil, mechanical, electrical, and the new big in-demand course in India, yeah, yeah, yeah. automation. Okay. So, do you just provide undergrad, postgrad, or walk us through the experience? Okay. Again, being a private institute, we are accredited exactly the same as my colleagues here from the universities, yeah. but being a private provider, we can be a lot more supportive of the student with our USPs. And a couple of examples, we have small class sizes, no more than 25. Yeah being a specialist in the technical area yeah. so that we just focus on the four key streams. We have Engineers Australia accreditation, a major, oh. major supportive issue if students who are graduating. Okay. It's like in India, you've got ANA and VIT yeah. who are uh, Washington Accord accredited. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of our masters are. Um, we have support people to look after students during their studies. We have an internship for every student that does a bachelor and a masters. Wow. And our price point for the Indian market it's um, a little bit below the universities, and that's not disrespecting the universities, yeah, yeah. we're just a smaller, more boutique um, private provider for them. And the other thing is, based on all of their studies, and if they pass, the possibility of getting a job in Australia now with coming out of the COVID area yeah. is really strong with engin engineering being in demand. So basically Australia need engineers and you guys are making engineers? Correct, so, yes. Okay. So can you talk about the scholarship programs if there are any uh, yeah. available at EIT? A great question because what we've recognised in India with in the industrial automation being so popular, yeah. we've had this program for a couple of years and it really hasn't taken off because at the moment we're in industrial 4.0, the internet of things. Okay. But this industry is moving to industrial 5.0, okay. automation. I've just come off a one week Austrade trade mission where yeah. automation is becoming faster and faster with its in demand for companies in India. We offer scholarships, so not only do we have a very good price point, but we've recognised automation with a scholarship for anyone that applies for the course in July or February next year, gets an automatic 20% bursary if they do our industrial automation course wow. in our bachelor's or our master's. Okay. Now, that's also in conjunction with key scholarships recognising good academic performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a bit of both. The other key strength with us is there's not enough women in engineering globally. So what we've done is, with every female that applies, we've got a women in engineering scholarship that they can apply for. It's a bursary and they get both a financial advantage and they get a mentorship program because our deputy dean is a female from India and she mentors and, and looks after the women engineering scholarship. More power to the ladies of the world. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay. So, how did you like the event today and how did you like interacting with Indian students mm -hmm. per se? Okay, Let, I'll go back a step. I've been coming to India since 2002. Oh, okay. um, I've known Sonia and the team from SIEC for that long. We've been working with that long. I've come from a couple of other providers and with every new provider I've gone to, I've first one of the first agents has been SIEC to make sure they're with us. I love coming to India because my actual daughter-in-law is from Chennai. Oh, so wow. I've, got, I've got a connection there already. Okay. However, this was probably my 60th time to India in 20 years. I keep coming back because there is a demand. The Indian students that, that get the chance to go to Australia, we get a chance to give them a good qualification with the post-study work opportunities now they can stay and work. Some come back and put that knowledge back into India, but some also stay and create that next range of migrant population that Australia is so well known for. So to answer your question, love coming. This is my second trip already this year and I'll probably be back another one or two times. Fun fact, I was born in 2001. So I was a year old when you started working with so SIEC. So you're making me feel so old. No. <laughs> Experience. You don't look like it. You don't, you don't look your age. That's something. Thank you. Okay. So thank you so much, Rolf. And we wish you all the best. And we wish EIT all the best. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, SIEC.